I feel like fairly small. It still all just fits on a tray, like I just do that. Hey there, my handsome and pretty little cobras, and welcome back to the Cobra's Nest. For those of you who are new, my name is Mignon Cobra, and I make minimalism videos. So today's minimalism video is going to be showing you guys my updated jewelry collection. It has grown a little bit in recent times, in the past couple months. I've been getting some PR packages, so it's a little bit on the bigger side. But I think this is good because this is kind of part of my Life After Minimalism series, you know, in the adding phase of minimalism. So I'm going to show you what my collection looks like. It's still, I feel, like fairly small. It still all just fits on a tray, like... I just do that. <laughs> so I just want to show you guys what pieces have been introduced and also like what I'm wearing. Plus a PR package, a gifted ad from the company Carativa, but more on them later. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Let's get it, let's go. I don't know if I have like a little tray or something. Let me put, maybe I'll put this over here. Give me a sec. All right, so we're back. So I think I'll probably talk about, I'll go in order. So let's just talk rings first. All of my rings. So these are all of my rings, plus the ones that I'm wearing on my hand. So I guess I'll just go in order. So the first one that I have is actually the gifted piece from Carativa and here it is i'll insert a picture of like the full name and everything about it i think it's like a flower type and it has a lot of pretty stones i think it's really quite lovely it's cubic zirconia with sterling silver so they kindly gifted me that what's on this hand these are like the staples so this is my engagement ring from will this is sterling silver and i think it's i still have the tags and the box it is caricature and it is sterling silver and cubic zirconia so that's really good i can wash my hands um my ring finger is a size six so so these are all sixes obviously except for like the pinky ring and then over here i have my pinky ring and this is just i think it's like stainless steel or titanium and it's really amazing it's really old i think it's like four years old and i bought it in taiwan and I've been wearing it for years and I wash my hands with it all the time and it's like completely fine. So I don't know what's good with like Taiwanese products, but they're really good. The next piece that I have is this one. It's sterling silver and it was also a gifted one from, I forgot the company, but I'll list it down here. And it's personalized jewelry. So it says Cobra on it and it's like on the bolder side. The gold plating has come off a lot. You can kind of more see on the underside. It's more silver than it is gold at the top, but I don't mind. I mean, like I feel like with some of these pieces that are on the fantasy side, I don't mind like my own like heritage pieces are gold so for gifted pieces I'm not I'm not gonna get that mad like if, if somebody gave it to me for free let me show you guys what are my own actual like heirlooms so this tiny pinky ring it's very puny I wear it as like a midi ring you guys have probably seen in videos like this is actually gold this is 24 karat gold and this is like a ruby it used to be like a ring finger that i used to wear when i was little so that is actual gold and i use it as a midi finger when i'm like on the extra lean side it also fits on my pinky but currently i'm not that lean so i just wear it as a midi ring and the last piece that i have that's a ring is this very minimalistic this used to be like one of the only rings that i owned in recent years it's kind of grown but yeah i used to just have this very tiny piece which just has like a one like little gem in the middle and i would just wear that on my ring finger and that was literally all the jewelry that i wore so that's that for rings all right so i'm going to show you guys so now we're going to move on to necklaces so for necklaces i have my first piece that i always wear this is gold this is 24 karat gold and then it has four diamonds this is from my dad it's from the company bittersweet um we i bought this i think like in my second time that i came back to canada during my time in med school so that's yeah pieces that are from like my family are gold but anything that's gifted obviously it's going to be like more fantasy more or just like I guess commercial which is fine I don't mind I'm not that snobby when it comes to jewelry if it's gonna be like my own piece I'm very minimalistic I'll just go for gold something small something dainty something classic something that's gifted to me yeah I'm cool like I understand it's, it's a commercial product I went to Nordstrom and I picked up um, a gold plated necklace that has and on it um it's sterling silver underneath so it isn't gold it's just gold plated and i don't mind and i i can't wear it as often because like the plating will start to come off yeah it's, it's really cute it's really nice i picked it up recently i was kind of feeling like i wanted to change it up i, I kind of grown tired of always wearing something small i wanted something a little bit more i guess extra so i copped this inside of here you guys have probably seen this in my other videos i do have more necklaces they're just actual just gold chains that were like family heirlooms one is from my aunt the other one's from my mom i'll open it and i'll show you guys it's just a gold chain nothing very exciting i don't have a pendant for it so i just keep it in here the other one is also just a gold chain this one does have a pendant it's kind of like a tory birch looking type of thing it's actually fantasy the pendant is fantasy but the gold chain isn't and i had gifted it to my mom but she didn't really like it so i kind of took it back and the chain was rusting so i took off the chain and i just kept the pendant in here i have some more pieces in this little slot 
I have my dad's wedding ring. It's made of gold. I think it's like also, no, this one is 14 karat gold. I'm thinking of melting it down to make a ring for Will and I in the future. So I'll just put that in there. If you're wondering why I don't have my dad's ring, um, my parents are divorced. So that is why I guess somehow um, I ended up with it. Don't, don't ask, I don't even know. The next two pieces that I have are also from Bittersweet. These are sterling silver with gold plating. I have showered with them by accident, so it kind of discolored a little bit, but they're still good. They don't have that awful smell that sometimes some of these pieces get, so I'm pretty happy about that. And then in these two bottom slots here, I have more gold. These are gold bracelets from when I was a child. My wrists are very tiny. I don't know if you guys can kind of see. They're very small, so I can still wear my baby bracelets. So that says my name on it, Natalie. And then I have another one, also gold. This one I think is from like my dad's sister, also says Natalie. I wear them on both my hands. Hands, but recently since I've started wearing another type of bracelet from Will, they keep clashing and scratching So I just kind of took it off. I felt like changing it up. I've been wearing them for a couple years now I wanted a break and in here. I have a pair of fantasy earrings. These are given to me by my mom They're not real as far as I'm aware, but um, they're really good quality There's a pearl on it with um, gems. So this is fantasy, but I don't know I think it's pretty nice You guys have probably seen in some of my other videos when I feel like I'm gonna look more classy Kind of go for that. Well, yeah, this is this thing is pretty good for like when I do move and travel. I'm able to stick in all of my jewelry into here, and it keeps everything compartmentalized. It's pretty good. It was a gift from Will's mom. It's for like putting in pills <laughs> when you go to hot spring, but um, you can see the little hot spring symbol there. But it's really good. It's um, lasting me quite some time. I like it a lot. These are the more iconic pieces that I wear. So here I have also a gifted piece cobra on it. It's not gold. It's just silver with gold plating, and it says my name on it, cobra. Then I have these little cobra earrings that my mom got me when I came back from China as a gift from Nordstrom. I have a bracelet, which is a gift from Will. This was during Christmas. It was his Christmas gift. He got me two of them. One is thinner than the other. This is kind of like, they open and close like little latches. Let me see if I can open that. Yeah. They're supposed to be like Cartier inspired. I have had a more Cartier inspired bracelet where it actually did have screws in it. This one is not. This one just has like little stones and then just has a clasp, which in my opinion is a lot easier. Doing the screws on and off was just so annoying. I much prefer something more practical like this. Um, this is from Will's aunt's um, store. So yeah, it's not from an actual store. I can't leave like an Amazon link down there. Okay, so that is actually my entire jewelry collection. So I'm gonna be talking about the Carativa sponsored a gift, Carativa. They kindly sent me some pieces for me to try out and show you guys. So as I mentioned, I'm wearing this piece and it came in these like lovely little boxes. You guys can see, really, really nice. And let me put that in there so it looks a little better. Ta-da! And I think these would be really nice if you're looking for something special for your girlfriend on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is coming up soon. I'll leave the coupon link down below. Full disclaimer, I obviously do get commission, but as usual, I'm not advocating for you guys to buy this. Just because I got it gifted for free does not mean that you guys need to go and purchase this. Please be an intentional consumer. Please don't feel obligated to buy any of this. So that is what that looks like. It comes in with this cute little box. The other thing they also gifted me, oh yes, and it has this little, little soft bag, which is really nice for putting in your jewelry. The other thing they also gifted me was this really pretty necklace. And I chose this one for my mom. My mom likes more like bold pieces. I got this for her with her in mind. It has a large opal stone in the middle with like stones on the side. It's cubic zirconia and sterling silver. So I think she'll really enjoy that. That's what that looks like. They kindly also sent me this really cute box. It's a music box, it opens. I think that's really cute. I think something like this is, I think it would be really like out there if you got this as a gift for your loved one. The box is really pretty. I'm actually going to keep the box. I'm very appreciative of the fact that I get sent these things. I don't take these things very lightly. I remember the days when I would always send out requests to do collabs and I would just get back crickets. So the fact that I'm getting these in these things now, I'm super, super appreciative. I, I know as a minimalist, you shouldn't be keeping like kind of like a lot of clutter, but this is something that's like really sentimental to me and I think it's really special and sweet and I keep it in my closet and I just kind of put it there on display and it just, it kind of reminds me of all of the hard work that I've done so I'm definitely keeping this. It makes me really, really, really happy. So uh, yeah, thank you so much to Karateva for the gifted pieces. I really, really like them a lot. I especially love the ring. Like the ring is just, wow. <laughs>
<laughs> the reason I wear it on this finger is because I've lost a little bit of weight. So my own my own engagement ring sometimes doesn't fit on this. It kind of flops. But this one is like true to size. It's a size six, so I just put it on there. But yeah, other than that, really really nice. Bling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. I don't have a pen a pendulum pen pen pendulum pendant